Hey there, I'm Jessica from Shutterstock and today I'm gonna show you how to make a stop motion animation GIF using Photoshop. So you can get started by creating your image files, whether you want to create an animation using Adobe Illustrator or do a quick photo shoot like I did. I shot these flowers back here. If you are gonna do a photo shoot, you want to make sure that you are using a tripod because it's very important that your camera stays in the exact same placement each time so you can create a seamless transition photo by photo. So you want to make sure that your dimensions for each photo are exactly the same as well and I'm going to explain that in a little bit so let's jump right into Photoshop and get started. And here we are in Photoshop. So to get started, you wanna make sure that you crop all of your images. I've already done this in Lightroom and I have exported them so they are ready to go in Photoshop. For this one, I am cropping all of my photos in a dimension that is for an Instagram portrait and that is 1080 by 1350 pixels. So you can either crop it in this or you can crop it in a perfect square format which would be 1080 by 1080 pixels. So to get started, we are going to go up here to file and we are going to go here to scripts and we are going to load files into stack right here. So this will add all of our images into one Photoshop file and it will add them all into different layers. So we're gonna click here and then we're gonna get this window and we're gonna click browse we're gonna go to wherever all of these photos have been exported on our computer. I already have all of these set, so I'm just going to select all of these and I'm going to open them up. And then once I'm finished, I'm going to click OK. So it takes a little bit of time, but as you can see, all of these images are loaded into the different layers here. Once we have all of the photos loaded up into your Photoshop file, we are going to use Photoshop's timeline feature. And this is how we are going to create a GIF. As you may or may not know, Instagram actually doesn't allow you to post GIFs on the actual Instagram post itself. So we are going to render a video, but this timeline feature, we can create a GIF and a video. The only difference is how you export it at the end, which I'm gonna show you how to do both. I just wanted to clear that up before we jump in. So we are going to get started with our timeline. So to get this window, it may not pop up right away. So if you don't see it in your Photoshop workspace, you can go here to window and then just make sure the timeline is selected. So from there, we are going to create a frame animation. So we're just gonna click here on the frame animation and it adds our very first layer right here. So that is a great starting point, but we wanna make sure that all of our layers are included in this timeline to make this a GIF. So in order to do that, we're gonna click this little menu option here and we are going to make frames from layers. So once we click that, all of our images are onto our timeline. So it's actually reversed. We want to reverse all of these frames so that the GIF makes sense because it's gonna go from an empty vase to putting flowers in the vase and then the vase will be spinning. So if I click here on the menu, if you need to reverse your images, you click here and you reverse your frames. So now when I play it, you can see it's in the right order. It is very, very fast. So we are going to slow it down and customize the different speeds on the frame. So for this one, I want to make it two different speeds. I want to do when I'm putting flowers into the base, I want it to be a bit slower. And then when the flowers spin, I want it to be a bit faster. So I'm going to change these to 0.2 seconds. I'm just gonna change the first couple ones all the way till five. And then with six through 13, I wanna change it to 0.1 seconds. So I'm just gonna do that. And you can choose whatever makes sense for you. Obviously it will depend on what you've captured and what makes sense for your gift. So now we have it all done. Once I press play, you can see it makes a little bit more sense. The 
ultimate goal of this project and this tutorial is to create a seamless GIF using our photos. So keep that in mind when you are thinking up ideas on what you want to create. So for this, we are going to copy our frames, then we're going to reverse them. So then it creates a never ending loop. It's a little bit easier to see than to understand. So let's jump back in. So in order to do that, we're gonna select the first one. While holding down shift, I'm just going to click on the last one and that will select all of our frames. I'm going to copy these frames right here back in the menu option. Once I click copy frames, I'm just gonna go back here again and press paste frames. I'm going to paste after selection. And once I do that, I'm going to click okay. And now we have it so it is exactly in the same order, but I actually want to reverse it so it's a never ending loop. So from here, I'm just going to select 14 to 26. Those are the ones we just pasted. And I'm going to click here back in this menu option and I'm just going to reverse these frames. So something that you're going to want to do is you wanna make sure that you delete the ones in the middle. So you're gonna have two identical ones and you wanna just make sure you delete it so it's not the same photo twice. So here I'm just going to click this little trash icon and then I'm going to delete the frame. So now when we play it, you can see that it is reversing and it will be a never ending loop. Okay, so now we are finished, congratulations. And here comes the fork in the road. So do you want to create a GIF or do you want to render a video for Instagram? So if you're not quite sure what you want or what you need, let me explain a GIF a little bit further. So if you want to have a GIF for your blog or your website, something that will play continuously that you don't need to press play like a video, it will definitely be a lower quality file format, but that is the beauty of a GIF. So if that is something that you wanna do, I'm gonna show you how to export that right now. And in order to do this, we are going to go up here to file and we are going to export and we are going to save for web. Once we get this handy window up, you wanna make sure that the preset is set to GIF 128 dithered. So once we do that, we are just going to press done and this saves as a GIF. Instagram works perfectly for this kind of project and tutorial because as long as the post is on the screen, it will loop and play continuously. So all that it needs to do is it needs to be at least three seconds and it can't go past 60 seconds in order to have this feature. So if you want to render your video for Instagram, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. In order to do that, we're gonna go up here to file. We are going to export and we are gonna go to the last option, which is render video. So once we click render video, we can save this to whatever your file name will be. I'm gonna save mine as flowers IG. And once I click render, it will render my video and it will be ready to upload onto Instagram. All right, we did it team. So I hope you had as much fun as I did. I love using the Photoshop timeline feature to create stop motions, animations, fun GIFs. This was a really simple example that I showed you today, but I hope that you take what you've learned and create brilliant stop motions and engaging Instagram content that you can share that your audience will love. I cannot wait to see what you create and until next time. Oh,